So if you've got some video and it needs some white balancing, if you've tried to do that in something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, it takes a bit of fiddling with the color controls to get it right. Whereas if you've used something like Photoshop or Lightroom and you've got a photograph, you can just use an eyedropper, select an area that is neutral or white, and it will do the white balance for you. Why can't you just do that in one of the video editing programs? But you can actually do it in Lightroom, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to import some video that I've got, that I've just taken, and I'm just going to click here and click on import. I'd already copied it onto the computer into a folder, as you can see, and I'm just going to import. And here you have three clips, and I did actually deliberately make the white balance go off a little bit on one of these, which is this one here. So how do I do the white balance in here? Well, if I click on one of them, if I go into my develop module, unfortunately it says video is not supported. However, there is a way around it. I'm just gonna go back to the library. What I'm gonna do is just open it and I'm just going to choose a frame. I'm gonna capture a frame. So it doesn't matter which one here because the image isn't moving. But what I'm gonna do is just click on this little button here and choose capture frame. Now you can see it's stacked it over here in the bottom here in this row, it says one of two. I want to unstack it, so I'm gonna right click and I'm going to choose my unstack. So here is my stacking and I'm just gonna choose unstack. But nothing seems to have happened there. So what I'm gonna actually do is just go down to wherever it is, let me just close that peak just to try and make it a bit easier to find. Let's go on my white balance video again. If I click on that folder, I now find that these two have now appeared. That's the video, you can see it's got the time code there, and or rather the duration, and here is the image. Now if I go to here, if I click on the image, and then go to develop, so what I can do is change the color balance on here, and what I'm gonna do is get to synchronize with my video. So what I'm going to do is I've got the image selected. I'm now going to hold down the Command key on a Mac or the Control on a PC and click on that. They're now linked together. You'll see down the bottom here on the right-hand side in my basic panel, it now says Auto Sync. Now if that wasn't switched on, I'll just click here. That's off. I'm going to click on it to switch it back on. So I'm just clicking on that little toggle switch there. So what I'm going to do now is just look for the right white balance. So what I'm going to do is click on this eyedropper here. If you've done this before, you'll know what I'm about to do. And then you just move the mouse over to find kind of something neutral or white. White is always useful. And you'll see over on the left-hand side in the navigator that as I move around, it's actually changing the color of the preview. Now, it can be a bit of guesswork, but I'm just gonna click on that, that's fairly neutral. Click on that and it changes the whole image. Oh, it's probably a little bit too much. I can push that slider back a bit. So I've got the slider in the basic panel. You can see I'm moving it back to something maybe a bit better. Or I could take that eyedropper and click somewhere else to see if it gives me a better result, maybe on the table. No, but you could if you wanted to, just simply adjust the temperature here. Let's go for something like that. So the thing is, is because I've set it to auto sync, when I go back to my library and I now select the video, you'll see that the video has now changed to match that and you'll see the thumbnail has now updated there as well. So that's quite useful. You can play the video here, by the way. I actually did do something here, which was when I videoed, I actually put my white card in here, which is actually this special thing, but you could just use a white sheet of paper or anything else that's a nice white. So let me see, where is it? I did it only very briefly. So that's the gray card. So there we go. I'm going to actually just choose this. I'm going to set this. I'm going to capture that frame and it's popped in there. So what I'm gonna do this time is click on that, hold down my, go, whoops, go into my develop, 
hold down command or control and click on the other one. I'm just going to right click and choose unstack. Let me just do that again. Hit uh, that. Select them both. And now if I click on my eyedropper, click on that, that should be a better shade of white. So let's go back to the library. So when you're videoing, always kind of, there you go, maybe it could do with a bit of adjustment with the exposure, which I could do within the develop module as well. So once you've done that, I'm just going to click off of that and then click back on the video. I can now export that. So I'm going to go into file. I'm going to choose export. I can choose a folder. And then down here is where I want to choose my video format. So I can do it compressed in H.264, which would be your final output to say online. You can still edit with it if you wanted to. Or you could do really the other useful one is the original unedited file, which would then do the uncompressed sort of version, which is good for editing. So if I was to choose that, it doesn't even give me an option on the different kind of quality, whether I want it maximum, high, medium or low quality. And then you just click on export. And when you do, it's you can see it's going to export the file at the top here. So I actually find this an easier process than trying to do the color adjustment sometimes in one of the video editing packages. So that's how you can do your white balance using on video in Lightroom.